News we have seen, again, some dense fog. We have seen it freezing to roadways. And take a look at the four things you need to know. Winter weather advisory in effect till noon. It'll be allowed to expire more than likely, but it could return tomorrow morning with more dense uh, drizzle and fog expected. And that'll affect, uh, again, those untreated roadways and walkways. Be careful. And then we're tracking snow coming in Thursday afternoon, anywhere from two to four inches, uh, perhaps even less, and more into the mountains. So it's going to be interesting. We'll be uh, tracking that for you. We look at the next 12 hours, cloudy conditions, gray skies. Uh, again, 29 at 1, 2, maybe 3 o'clock <clears throat> by 528. And then we've got some fog rolling in for the early morning hours that'll take us into tomorrow morning. And the same setup is basically what we had today. Doppler radar, we did have out of this uh, some of that pink. That's where you see some of the, uh, the drizzle that came in. And then we still see that around the region freezing to some of the roadways. We look at the 72 hour forecast and we're gonna see a continuation of uh, fairly dry sky wise, but then we see that next system coming in and that's gonna roll in Thursday afternoon two, three o'clock, maybe four o'clock. We'll see that load in, not hanging out long. It should be gone by midnight. And behind that, we're gonna see anywhere from one to four inches of snow in our region. As we look at our highs for today, temperatures are gonna be below average by about five, six degrees, 29 our high, 31 to Coeur d'Alene. And in fact, we're gonna see those uh, low 30s and upper 20s all over the place. The planning forecast, planning on Freezing fog, not only this morning we had that, but again tomorrow morning, 31 for the high. Now we're going to see 32 on Thursday with a chance of snow coming in Thursday afternoon. So there's a possible alert day there, just depending on the amounts and the timing. And then we're going to have freezing temperatures during the day with overnight lows into the low 20s and expecting snow showers over the weekend, which is going to be great for the mountains. Uh, they'll be hit and miss in our area, 40 to 50% chance of that happening. All right, download the First Alert Weather app. It's free and available in the App Store. I am Mark Peterson for News Now, Spokane. Hopefully you have a great, safe day. Slow down out there, take it easy, and make sure your vehicle is ready for winter driving, no matter where you're going.